Richard here. Welcome to my series of Logic Pro X tutorials. In this video, I will be showing you how to rename your tracks. Now, there are four easy ways to do this. Now, the first way, if we go up here into the main menu and I click on track, I can just go down to the menu where it says rename track. So here I've got my the track I want to rename selected. I'm going to call this one just piano. There we go. So I've renamed the track. Excellent. Now, if I want to see an even easier way to do that, I could double click on whichever track I have selected. I call that Piano 01. And there we go, I've renamed the track. So you may have noticed that when I'm renaming the track here, it is changing the name of the track up here in the inspector. So that is the third way I can change the name of the track. I can call this Piano. Whatever I want to call it. And when I change it in the inspector, it changes on the channel strip. Now, the fourth way, and this is a, this is quite a cool way to do it, um, if you've got certain things in your region. So, for instance, here I've got this region named Felt Piano in A minor. So if I move this one down, this region down to this Piano Again track, I can select Functions and Name Track by Region Name. And it changes the name of the track to Felt Piano in A, min a minor. Now the the reverse can obviously be true. I could just call it call this track felt. If I move that region back up there, and then I can click on functions, name regions by track name. Now this is great when you're copying and pasting parts across the different tracks, because then you can name the tracks and regions accordingly. There we go, guys. So go ahead and practice renaming your tracks in the four different ways: through the menu, renaming track, through the inspector up here through double clicking on your track on your channel strip and through functions naming your track by region or naming your regions by track thanks guys and don't forget to click subscribe